taking a lunchtime walk. Well, our walks when we get to a place usually reveal something quite startling, and here we are in an English cemetery in Begna di Luca, which includes this grave here for Rose Cleveland, who was the sister of President Cleveland of the USA. She died in 1918, stricken by the epidemic Spanish fever. But with a band of nurses, she was nobly combating among the refugees of the Great War. Just about every graveside has a little story to it. Bridge and heading across the bridge. Perhaps we'll do it one at a time. Don't know. No, it looks, looks like it might hold us both. Put salt down here for when the uh, path is a bit icy. Don't need it today, it's going to be up in the early 20s at least. Trees on the hills are still getting their leaves as you can see. Interesting to see this river in flood. Oh well, this is the way they do their um, gardening here on the hillside above Bagni di Luca. Got their uh, spring and summer garden in by the looks of it. Lots of veggies. Well, the rock has brought, it up, brought us up to a fairly high level above the town, and this is uh, the town of Bagna de Luca below. Richard's now joined me and picked out our hotel down there. So it's off down the hill and we'll be there in no time at all. I'm not going down there. Well, where's your spirit? No, I've done that before in this country. <laughs> yeah, but there's no fire on that hillside. I'm sure we could do it. No, I'm not doing it. Making the most of the sunny fine weather, getting the washing done. Magnificent building over here. Is, uh, we found it on our way down from the church that we never actually located. Another interesting find from yesterday was the tennis club. They seem to have six of these um, large indoor things where they play tennis, obviously all year round. 